In this video, we will talk about the benefits, resetting, and maintenance of the Fisher Type VSX Slam Shut. Before performing any work, always be sure to read and follow all safety precautions as they are outlined in the instruction manual. Slam shut devices are designed to shut off the flow of gas to the downstream system in the event of pressure rising above or falling below predefined levels. The VSX series slam shut products offer various benefits. Downstream system protection, environmentally friendly with no leaking or venting to atmosphere, bubble tight shutoff to downstream equipment and systems. Internal parts can be inspected and replaced without removing the body from the pipeline positive latch mechanism to avoid unintentional trips. There are two main parts of the VSX slam shut device. A body with a removable orifice enclosed by a bonnet. A VSX series controller. The pressure measuring element of the VSX series controller consists of a diaphragm that senses downstream pressure. When the downstream pressure increases above the overpressure shutoff setting, the diaphragm moves up. When the downstream pressure decreases below the underpressure shutoff setting, the diaphragm moves down. Both of these actions result in the rotation of the cam and the release of the positive latch. The valve plug spring moves the valve plug against the regulator port, stopping the flow of gas. Before opening the valve plug, an equal pressure balance on inlet and outlet sides is required. In the event of exposure to an overpressure event, the device should be inspected for any damage that might have occurred. An optional remote notification switch can be installed offering the capability to remotely notify the operator should a slam shut event occur. Ensure that the slam shut device and its springs correspond to the desired operating conditions of the associated regulator. We are now going to show you the set point adjustment and resetting procedure for the VSX slam shut. Remove the closing cap. Increase the downstream pressure to the desired overpressure set point. Then rearm the unit and turn the outside adjusting screw ring clockwise until the unit trips. Use a flathead screwdriver to turn the overpressure adjusting screw clockwise to increase the set point. To set at low pressure, adjust downstream pressure to low pressure trip point. Then turn the inside adjusting screw counterclockwise until the unit trips at low pressure set point. Check the system to ensure the cause of overpressure before moving to reset the unit. To reset the unit, slowly pull the black handle back until the plug has engaged the cam. You should hear flow if downstream demand is present. Pull back until the handle stops. You should hear a click as the cam resets. It should be about one inch. Slide the reset plug back into the actuator. The orange indicator should now be visible one eighth of an inch exposed. VSX uses an orange indicator on the stem to indicate if the unit is tripped. If the indicator is no longer visible from the side, the unit has tripped. Due to normal wear or damage that may occur from external sources, the slam shut device should be inspected and maintained periodically. The frequency of inspection and replacement of parts depends upon the severity of service conditions or the requirements of local, state, and federal rules and regulations. If the slam shut device does not close at the desired pressures or leaks gas after closure, repair or replace the device. This will cover disassembling the unit to change the disc and orifice of the VSX slam shut device. Remove the four bolts connecting the VSX to the body. Pull the actuator away from the body. Check the orifice remaining in the body by running a fingernail around the top of the orifice to check for nicks. If there is any damage, replace. Check the disc by looking for any cuts or chunking. If damaged, replace by removing the cotter pin and pulling the disc off. Replace with a new disc and replace the cotter pin. Add the two flange plates and replace the four bolts. Order replacement parts by finding the needed part number in the VSX instruction manual. 
At the end of the kit, you can find a list of individual part numbers or a full repair kit. Use these part numbers to order replacements through your Emerson sales office. The VSX is a slam-shut controller and protects against overpressure events and underpressure, such as a broken pipe downstream. VSX is a standalone slam-shut, but has the option of adding a commercial service regulator to the body later if pressure regulation is needed. VSX is easy to reset and bring the line back into service. Slam shuts provide protection to equipment without releasing any gas to the atmosphere. This is a good option for critical areas where venting gas is not possible. For more information, please contact your local Emerson sales office or visit emerson.com. Mm -hmm.